Welcome to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Beds empty, no note, car gone. Oh, Mum, I... Out of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've lived. But, Mum... Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. The Pendo! That was truly smashing, Harry! Oh, oh. you know, Harry. You can cast Flipendo on a whole bunch of things lying around the burrow. And if you do, you might be surprised at what you find. Those beans will come in handy at Hogwarts. When I learn some second year magic, I should be able to get the shield to the top. There are gnomes everywhere! Look, they're up in the rafters. Okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipendo them off the rafter. We'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And keep moving round it in class for Pendo when the door is open. Don't be scared, Harry. It won't bite much. Can't Pendo. Pendo when his door's open. Junior's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. Flipendo! Ugh. Wizard card.
Bombs are waiting. <sighs> We're out in the garden. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow, I've got to try this. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. <laughs> and chuck them out of the garden. Nice one, Fred. That went miles. Never beat my record. <laughs> Excellent. Flipendo. <laughs> You'll never beat my record. <laughs> then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs Weasley. Come on, Harry, get on with it! Don't forget, pick them up, spin them round, and chuck them out of the garden. Excellent! <laughs> right on target. <laughs> Great, 
a wizard card for my collection. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Tiger Alley! It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then... He fell. This doesn't look like Diagon Alley. Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. could use this to find my way out. <laughs> it's very dark in here. Lumos! Uh-oh. 
in. I better watch out. Somewhere I can stick this thing. Not through there. Oh, lock.
Can't get in that way. Harry Potter. That place too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplaces I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry. But I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the heart when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. Harry, Flourish and Blots is this way. Ouch! I knew your father, you know. A fine wizard and a genuine loss. I'd like to buy that, please. The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshawk. <laughs> ah, now that would be one sickle. <laughs> Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Thanks very much. sold you yet? To cast really powerful spells, you need to build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. A bee! Flavor beans. Mm -hmm. 
Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Japes. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my speller tape, so I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Japes and the Leaky Cauldron. Got it. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on, show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. A silver sickle! We thought we'd lost you for good, Potter. This is Gamble and Jake's, the Wizarding Joke Shop. Stink pellets. Four sickles for a pack of ten. Go on, try the magical measure up. You'll need to cast a perfect flipendo spell. Excellent, a perfect flipendo spell. Door's locked. If you want to get the magical measure to the top, you'll need to cast a perfect flippendo spell. How much are stink? <laughs> Some. Stink pellets! Stink pellets. Hey, Potter? <laughs> An excellent. Kind of you to do this for Ginny. Have you looked everywhere in the leaky cauldron? Oh, please find my things, Harry. 